people open and does that sort of thing every day and is normal it's just not normal it changes you not to mention that surgical residency is like an emotional roller coaster like sometimes like you're really good and then sometimes you're really not good and you take yourself and anybody close to you on that ride <laughs> You're also brainwashed in the sense that people convince you the others around you because they're just like you and they're weird and they've all gone through this trauma. They convince you that this is normal and that surgery is so important and that there's nothing else in the world outside of that. So even when you go out with your normal friends, you don't know what to talk about because talking about the level one trauma that, that you took emergently to the operating room that was bleeding out from every orifice is just not a normal conversation and not something you should be discussing. Then after that, a lot of people decide that they want to do a fellowship. Like right now, I decided I want to do a fellowship. So then you have to like do all this research and prove yourself once again. Prove that you're amazing, just like the other amazing doctors that are also applying for these positions. That's going to be another three years and still making minimum wage.